Sam, pleasure to see you again here in Barcelona. The last time we met was in Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hopefully you had a safe trip over. I know this has been a busy show for you. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, one of the big themes that we're seeing in Mobile World Congress this year is a focus on operations and autonomous networking yeah. level four. There's been a lot of conversations there. Can you give us a brief perspective on the solution components and the architecture of what you're bringing to market? Uh, you know, we started very you know, a long time ago to do autonomous network solution. Internally, we call it autonomous driving network solution. Basically, we do it in three layers you know, from the architecture point of view. The first layer, you know, we build the uh, capabilities at the network layers. We, we, do, we develop some new component, new uh, protocols, uh, new uh, network elements. This kind of New things will enhance the basis of the whole network, of the whole infrastructure. And okay. based on, on it, for each scenario, we build you know, new components. We have two kinds of, com of components the co pilot and the agent. Okay. The, for, about the scenario, we know that uh, Tim Forum gave a suggestion we should focus on some uh, like uh, high value scenarios, and we give a recommendation of uh, 20 scenarios. Okay. So for each kind of this scenario, we develop an agent and develop some uh, or pilots. So this is a new component. And based on this, we provide intent API to appear and to support the, uh, you know, the OSS layer. So for our capability, we call it single domain autonomy. Okay. And then we provide capability to support the up layer at that layer, we do collaboration, you know, cross-domain collaboration. So that's the whole picture. And for some specific scenarios, some specific market, we also provide some uh, you know, uh, OSS layer systems to do collaboration. Okay. Uh, co across different domain. So that's the whole story. The unique thing is bringing some new capability at new layer and bring new components at the management. That's the whole architecture of the, uh, our whole solution. Okay. The other thing that we've been seeing in the market is uh, the use of large language models. Obviously, there's a cost element there, but recently DeepSeek uh, came out with a you know lower cost uh, option yeah. in there. What are your views on Deep seek and sort of where the market's going in terms of large language models. Yeah. Okay. You know, Deep seek is uh, it's uh, just released. Yeah. Uh, we can see that Deep seek is the starting point. Maybe after Deep seek, there are another deep thing, deep research, every kind of Deep seek kind of thing, right? Will come out. But Deep seek bring us very you know unique message that the large language model now you know, reduce the cost you know, very mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. So, you know, before DeepSeq, probably we also develop our own you know, foundation model. Okay. Language model. But now we think to develop, to provide, you know, better solution to the customer, we can select, you know, the best model from the industry if it can be used, right? Right. So for our policy, we will use DeepSeq. You know, we select to use it. And uh, also at the same time, we suggest our customers also to use it. We think if we all try to use the open sourced uh, model, then we can focus on the service logic. We can try to build a better solution and the customer can focus on the service procedure to bring more value. So you can see that uh, DeepSeq will be a tool for everyone, right? So we think DeepSeq can change, can accelerate the progress of the autonomous network to reach level four. Yeah, excellent. Um, you know, one of the other things as I kind of look around uh, in Barcelona at the show, there's a lot of solutions that focus on 
autonomous networking, and we've talked a little bit about uh, using agents for customer care, for billing, for some of the operations, even planning. What's the unique value proposition that Huawei is bringing into the market as we look at more and more automation being applied in an operator's environment? Yeah, that, that question internally, we, we, we call it why Huawei, right? Why Huawei is uh, always a question we need to answer. You know, Huawei is the biggest ICT infrastructure you know, provider. So we think we have you know, almost all kinds of technology. And uh, at the same time, we believe if we want to build something like closed loop, very perfect automation, we need a solid basis. Mm. So at this layer, that's our unique uh, responsibility. We, we develop a lot of new technology to enable to support the network layer to enhance, to go smarter, go intelligent. Okay. So this is uh, for sure the unique capability we, we can you know, contribute. And another thing is, you know, globally, we have uh, so many customers and uh, we are engaged deeply with their operations. So we have so many you know, professional you know, service experts. They bring a lot of uh, you know, knowledge, experience, and with this kind of thing, we put them into the models, into the foundation model, and then we improve the model. So this model can be called telecom foundation model, okay. not a common yeah. foundation model. So right? you're kind of bringing the domain expertise that you have with all the resources in your organization and embedding that into the model yeah, to give yeah, it. Yeah. That's, you know, because we have so many you know, use cases, uh, expertise and uh, parents. Yeah. So this model can be you know, more smarter and uh, like uh, know-how about the uh, telecom industry. Yeah. So I think these two things can be, you know, uh, can be help us uh, to accelerate to reach level four, to provide a level four kind of a solution for our customer. Yeah. So that, that's, that, that's our unique value. Yeah. Also, I read some, uh, you know, research uh, reports from industry and also with uh, one of yours, uh, you talked about the agent, the, especially you know, uh, the agent in telecom industry. So I want to know from uh, your point of view, the agent, the new component, is it uh, possible to uh, make a segment of the market? It can be sold to the customer uh, independently, or it's just you know some imagination. I want to. Some yeah, so the, the report that you're referencing, it was a Gentic AI and yeah. telecom. And we've done uh, some preliminary for forecasting. And if you look out to 2030, we think that communication service providers can impact as much as $60 billion in OPEX, uh, which is pretty substantial. And as you laid out, Sam, I mean, there's going to be different use cases. So what we see in the market is, in terms of what's coming in the market, is the ability to have a platform. So if the operator chooses to build their own agentic AI capabilities, they have the option to do that. Or if they want to source directly from Huawei specific agents, whether those agents be focused on you know, anomaly detection or you know, in the area of service management or you know, churn prevention. Yeah. Those are all specific functions that are in the operator that allow them to do that much more efficiently. And I think as that gets applied in the marketplace and we move from uh, proof of concept into commercial deployment, that's where I think you'll see the impact on the OPEX for a lot of the operators around the world, many of which you're working with. Also, I've met uh, you know, a lot of uh, customers. The, almost every customer, you know, they excited about the uh, agents and co-pilot to enable their, you know, autonomy. So I think maybe in the future, the agent could be a segment of the market between the carriers and the vendors. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of the things that you talk about where you have domain expertise with a lot of the, the experts on your staff and they move that into the model, I think the same thing will happen with Agentic AI where you see a knowledge transfer, but then a lot of the mundane tasks get removed and it gives operators the ability to actually use their resources in other areas of the business. Yeah, okay, let's uh, make it happen. Yeah, let's make it happen. Thanks again, Thank Sam. Thank you. Thank you.